Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good afternoon. Uh, this is my uh, research paper titled Sufi Psychology, Its Advantages and Importance in Modern Psychology. So this is uh, the, the abstract of the uh, research paper and this is the keywords uh, about the whole uh, research uh, which is uh, consists of Sufi Psychology, Happiness, Inner Potential, Positive and Modern Psychology. So the, uh, this is the different or a comparison between uh, modern psychology and Sufi psychology. The main uh, important thing, the, the difference between uh, both uh, two field of study is about the spiritual dimension, which in Sufi psychology gives more attention while modern psychology less attention in the spiritual dimension. Other than that, spiritual uh, uh, Sufi psychology uh, focus more on the happiness, while in the modern psychology, uh, it is focused on the mental symptoms. So the objectives, to identify the characteristics of Sufi thought and its relation to psychology. The second one is to understand the role of Sufi thought and its relationships to the development of human potential and the third one identify the advantages of Sufi psychology and it's relevant to modern psychology. The methodology. This study is a qualitative research use full content analysis method as the main source of collecting data. The fundamental of Sufi psychology uh, it has uh, three fundamental which is uh, which is to, to purify the inner dimension, to enlighten heart and meaningful feelings. So the, the main or the main uh, important thing is to attain happiness. The main component in the Sufi psychology. Uh, In, is, is in the inner man which is uh, it, it has uh, three main parts which is uh, lust, heart and intellect. All of these three components have its own potential. Sufi practice is a way of writing commandable moral. So how to How uh, it is relevant to the uh, modern psychology and how it is uh, give benefit to the modern psychology is because uh, by practicing Sufi, it can bring people to purify soul and cleanse the hearts. So, how to, to, so in order to, to do the practice is to perform Sharia, to change the way of life and to divine wisdom. As a conclusion, Sufi psychology is able to drive human potential. Sufi psychology can be, uh, can be said as a part of positive psychology. Uh, in Sufi psychology, self-disclosure is very abstract and speculative and it is need uh, it is needed to uh, to be done in qualitative research to to make it easy to measure such as uh, the level of happiness and so on. the references that has been used in this research. Okay, thank you.